Hello guys, hope you are doing great. I am Sampath. Today I will show you what we have about Build with Pro and how to utilize Build with Pro to generate our targeted e-commerce tools information. If you can watch this video up to end, I will show you exactly how to utilize this tool to get our targeted e-commerce tools list. Or if you want me to help you with your targeted e-commerce tools information or e-commerce tools decision maker list creation, you can contact me directly. I mentioned my contact details in the video description box. You can directly message me on WhatsApp. Not only e-commerce stores, decision makers list creation. If you are looking for any kind of P2P data and web scrapping services, for example, Instagram scrapping. If you have any competitors profiles, we can scrap that competitors profiles, followers, publicly mentioned email IDs and contact information. At the same time, we can scrap hashtags. Or if you are looking for Instagram influencers, based on their location, industry wise, followers count wise, we can have a chance to generate that information. Or if you are looking for LinkedIn data scrapping, whatever the search results you have, I will scrap all the results and I will provide you possible verified email IDs and dialing information. Or like recently funded companies decision makers information, like last month funded companies decision makers information we can gather. Or local business information like local boutique stores and clothing stores. Anything like that we can have a chance to generate information like this. Or angel investors, VCs that too particularly based on their previous investment histories. So we can have a chance to collect anything related to B2B data and web scrapping services. You can contact me directly. As I said, I mentioned my contact details in the video description box. You can directly message me on WhatsApp. Now let us jump into the Build with Pro. So first we will go to the Build with Plans. For example, if you can see here, Basic Pro and Team. So basic package, if you are only working with particular niche related e-commerce stores, then definitely Basic will enough. Or if you are looking for uh, working with uh, different, different industry related e-commerce stores, then definitely you need required Pro package. If you have a large team members, then definitely you need team member because Pro Package will give you only access one system logins. So this is about the plans. So now let us jump into the dashboard. So now if you can see here, this is the dashboard. Now I will show you how to create our targeted list actually. So I will show you an example so that you will understand how Build with help us to generate our targeted e-commerce stores information. So first we will go to the Shopify. So once I will click Shopify for example, I will show you how to generate our targeted Shopify list. So here I am just clicking download full lead list. So once I click full download lead list. So then I can have a chance to see here all live Shopify sites. No, I am clicking this one. So now I can have a chance to see all the Shopify stores actually. So we can see all the results. So I am just scrolling down a little bit. Here you can see all the information. No, I need to generate our target and list particularly. I know I don't need all the data. I need particular information. For that, what I'm going to do is I'm clicking here advanced filter. So once I go to the advanced filter, I can see here all the information. So using these filters, we can have a chance to generate our targeted stores information. Take, for example, I need particularly people who are using some payment companies. For example, PayPal. So I need, so people who are using PayPal on their website. So now I'm just looking, if you can see here, they're currently using PayPal or like started using PayPal very recently or last three months and all. So I'm just clicking currently using PayPal and clicking add filter. Once I click add filter, you can have a chance to see that information here. Next, I will go to the location. So for example, my targeted location is United States. I'm just clicking here United States. So once I click here, we can have a chance to select by state wise also. For example, I will select here Florida. I will click add filter. So once I click add filter, we can have a chance to see information here. So here the location information. Next I can go to the revenue. So for example, I will set as $10 minimum. Then after I will set as like 1000 is the maximum. So I will just click set as sales revenue filter. So now we can see that information here. So then after I'm going to the employees. So for example, minimum I will select 10. So maximum I will select 100. So if we, whatever the, we want, like we can select that one. If we want large ones, we can select large ones. If we want small ones, we can select a small one. I'm just clicking here 100. Then set as estimated employee filter. So then after I can go to the here keyword. Suppose for example, if you want some leather stores, we can enter that uh, leather keyword here. We can add the filter. or if you can see the uh, build with having some verticals actually. You can select that information here directly. So for example, I will select here, I need sports related information, stores information. I will just select here sports. So now you can see all the information here. 
So here we selected verticals as ports. Now here we have selected here our targeted filters. Then after simply we need to click create filtered report. So once we click create filtered report. So then after we can have a chance to see report like this. So first I'm going to here. I will go to the show advanced report. So here you can see the. So no report is generating actually. So my targeted report is generating. So after like 5 to 10 minutes we can have a chance to see this report. So if you can see here my previous reports, I already have created some previous reports. Now I will click and show you those reports. Here Bertiq stores in United States. I have generated this report recently. Now if you can see here the report, so we can just simply click download. So if we can click export, so we can have a chance to download that report. See here, we just need to go to here, we simply need to click download to see thing. So once we click download, that list will download. So now I will show you how downloaded report looks like. So here, this is the downloaded report. Now you can see this list actually here. So we can see the domain name. So technology spend, sales revenue. And uh, here you can see the uh, all the information. You can have a chance to see here possible telephone number and email IDs. We can see uh, social media URLs. And we can see the location. So we can see all other information actually here. So we can have a chance to see maximum information, whatever the available on build with. See, this is it guys. Like we can have a chance to generate build with report uh, through this way actually. So, but make sure we need a subscription for this. Like I already have subscribed to the pro plan. So whatever the plan you require, you can subscribe and you can utilize that information. So this is the how we need to generate our targeted reports actually. See, just simply, it will hardly will take like uh, 10 to 20 minutes for generating our reports actually. So hopefully you will understand how BuildWith will help you to generate targeted list actually. So if you have any doubts, please comment in the video comment section. I will definitely reply your comment. And like, as I said, if you need my services, you can contact me directly. Whether if you want like e-commerce stores, decision makers, list generation or LinkedIn scrapping or Instagram scrapping or recently funded companies or like angel investors, VCs or anything related to B2B data and web scrapping services. I will help you with that. That too fresh and verified data. Like as I said, like you can directly contact me on my WhatsApp. Like here I mentioned my WhatsApp details. You can directly click on it will redirect to my WhatsApp contact list. So you can message me whatever the requirement you have. And thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.